Mike Myers here. Well, it did uh, rain somewhat last night. Pavement is uh, basically dry, but there's some uh, wet grass and little uh, puddles. Uh, little, little puddles. So anyway, uh, yeah, that uh, fight fire with fire thing, uh, you got to do it. You got to do it. So I'm looking at this uh, headline right here. Uh, it says, the first lady says job is hell, can't stand it. Well, uh, what you going to do? She was disbarred uh, from the Illinois Bar Association. As crooked as those friggin' crooks are, judges are, they disbarred this crook. It's incredible. Uh, <laughs> uh, honor amongst uh, crooks. Uh, so, anyway. Uh, that's about uh, what's going on here. It's uh, kind of nice out. I would say uh, around 65 degrees. And it is, let me find a clock around here. Uh, it's uh, 5.35. Oh, 5.30. Oh, 5.30. 5.31. Yes. East uh, Central Time. So anyway, that's, um, that's about uh, what's happening today. Uh... Yeah, I hope uh, everything uh, works out for everybody and everybody is nicer to everybody else. And I hope uh, people are more neighborly to uh, their neighbors. That's, uh, that's what I want. You know, uh, the way things are now, uh, uh, they're kind of like... Uh, Stagnant. You know, we have the same uh, roads that were put in um, uh, 50 years ago. We got the same uh, mental attitude. You know, I, what I was getting at is, um, and I had a conversation uh, with a uh, another person about, do you remember Segway? Segway? Uh, revolutionary uh, vehicle? <clears throat> well, they're banned from uh, public streets, sidewalks. This revolutionary technology is banned. They use them in the post office, they use them in the factories, they use them in malls, but uh, they can't uh, they can't go anywhere else because the politicians don't want it to happen. You know, uh, uh, you talk about infrastructure, uh, and uh, it is true, uh, unemployment, nobody is, is almost zilch. All this money that the government is spending is being spent uh, so union contractors um, can get work. So union contractors uh, means that the union contractor and the union laborers or journeymen plumbers or carpenters or what have you, the union employees have to pay union dues. So if you don't pay union dues, the union will bust your uh, bust your legs or uh, kill you and stuff you in a uh, throw you in the river. That's that's what Obama is supporting union. I mean the whole Congress. So. Uh, you know, there's a lot of Americans that are non-union workers. So, but uh, anyway, you know that uh, uh, one of the reasons I think they say that Segway uh, can't uh, be driven is because it's not safe on the street. Or it's uh, not safe on the sidewalk. Sidewalk's too small. So the street has got other stuff going on. You know what I mean? But... Uh, uh, 
with all this uh, people that want to be put to work uh, needs jobs, make the sidewalk bigger. Put uh, stoplights on the sidewalks. Or make another lane for uh, bicycles, uh, scooters, segways, uh, etc. We have to change our status quo. We cannot stay the way we are. We it's like uh, open a bottle of wine, and uh, and it's fermenting, and it turns to vinegar. You know, uh, uh, that's what's the uh, problem. Everybody is using, you know, uh, old ideas. And you know we're moving in the universe, and we can't go. F we can't go back to where we once were. So, uh, uh, but we're with this old mentality. You know, as we move through time, uh, things change, ideas change, people change. Uh, corruption breeds corruption. Power breeds corruption. And, and it just adds to itself and adds to itself. You know, the uh, uh, Jews uh, and the Palestinians, they do not recognize each other. So, and, unless something changes, uh, nothing's going to happen. We The status quo is not going to work. You know, if I was a Palestinian, I probably would not like the Jews either. I mean... If you look at it, uh, they were living in their their uh, land at the end of World War II, and then the United States and Britain decided to uh, push them out, push them into tents, and uh, give the Jews uh, the land that was in the Bible. So, just like that, they throw you, out, they push you out of your house and move you into a. Um, uh, refugee uh, camp, tents, you know, your, you know, your family was living there for uh, 2,000 years or 1,500 years or whatever, and they all of a sudden throw you out. The American government, the British, the victors, the allies of World War II, and moves uh, the uh, Jews in. So, you know, the American Indians are pissed off because uh, we did that to them. You know, this is this is white radical, uh, not white necessarily, but a radical Christian terrorist. That is the United States, a land of radical Christian terrorists. So, this is, this is a fundamental issue over there. And until... The Jews realize, well, yeah, you know, we, uh, this is what was done to us, uh, 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 but we have it now, and, uh, screw you. Uh, until this, uh, changes, nothing is going to change. Uh, and I think a reasonable person would understand the Palestinians, uh, uh, being upset. So anyway, and you know this this goes to uh, fundamental of uh, what you believe in. If you believe in something, believe in it strongly. Believe in it, and uh, the Palestinians believe that this is was wrong. And personally, uh, I don't think it was right either. I mean, was it uh, <clears throat> the cost of? Uh, Nine million, six million Jews being uh, murdered by the Nazis was it? So this was the uh, uh, bone that uh, uh, we threw to the Jews. I mean, if if uh, no um, nobody was uh, uh, killed in concentration camps, would this have taken place? So it seems like uh, in history demanded. Uh, Nazi Germany to uh, do what it uh, had to do what it did so that uh, I mean this is just one thing just one thing you know Obama uh, First Lady Jabazal can't stand it jeez you know Obaga get thrown in jail for or uh, arrested for talking about bribery 
But here, when she was uh, working for a lawyer firm, uh, uh, Obama somehow, as a senator, when he became senator, somehow the state of Illinois gave her lawyer firm all sorts of state government work. And she all of a sudden happened to get bonuses. If that ain't bribery, what is? It's like Mayor, da Mayor Daly selling the uh, parking meter uh, rights in Chicago for uh, 4 or $5 billion. Who knows what it was. Mayor Daly's brother is working uh, for the parking meter company. Parking meter company. So what was his bonus? <laughs> what? what? I mean, if you and I did something like that, we'd get arrested. So, uh, you know, the FBI, well, we don't have to worry because the FBI and the U.S. Attorney is going to go after Blago again for talking about uh, bribery when all these people uh, do this left and right. If this ain't bribery, extortion, uh, kickback, scam, or whatever, illegal, then what is? So, anyway, Aunt Martha Stewart's a criminal. She lied under oath, but everybody else can do it. The government can do it. The cops can do it. The judges can do it. So why do they uh, pick on poor Martha Stewart? Like a real criminal, she had to go to jail. Her uh, ankle uh, bracelet, uh, home retention, whatever. What a pile of crap. Alright, so this has uh, been f uh, t going on 12 minutes. So I'm going to see how this uh, plays out. Alright, guys. Uh, let me find this mouse. Alright, I'll uh, talk to you.